My name is J.C. McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, it's a beautiful day in September. Yes. You know, sometimes we don't get these beautiful days in September, especially in Connecticut. Um, you know, I, I want to start with thanking uh, family, friends, neighbors, uh, people from work, people from the neighborhood. I mean, that's just awesome to see such unity in the city of Hartford, right? Yes. So I, I want to start with, if, if you can at least just just look around just even this little area right here look around you you know this is this is probably the area where people will say uh, nothing good comes out of this little corner and right there on Capen Street 221 it's where I grew up uh, but it's also the same place that if you look a little further this way it's where I lost my best friend of 15 years to gun violence and so uh, I want to share something with you, and, and, and I, want, I want to begin with saying that as we look around Capen Street, what we will see is that this is the place where I learned what true unity was. When I came to Capen Street, the neighbors didn't judge me based on my color, didn't judge me based on my race, didn't judge me based on my um, economic status, they didn't judge me whether my parents were Democrats, Republicans, Independents, or they didn't vote at all. What they did is they embraced me and they showed me what true community looks like. Where I could go to this home where Fred lived, where we actually called him with love, Carlito, because he called every Puerto Rican Carlitos. <laughs> so we called him back Carlitos. And he actually taught me how to play basketball. He was already 6'5", and here I was, you know, a, a nine-year-old, short as ever. And he taught me how to play basketball. But then right across on this area, we will have Bridget, or we will have Sean or Shonda, who also will come over to the house. And we, I will watch my sister at the time, you know, she was a little girl, and they will play double dutch. And so, yes, I learned how to play double, du double dutch as well. Don't, don't get it twisted. <laughs> but I, we also had a lady that by love, we call her Boo. She lived right here. And she would come over the house, and she always came to us and said, where's that Puerto Rican rice at? And you know, as Puerto Ricans, we always have that rice. It doesn't matter what day of the week, we will have some rice. And she was there. But the point I'm trying to make as I begin is that it was here where I learned what true unity was. Because they didn't judge me based on anything else but the fact that I was a neighbor and that I was in this neighborhood. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, we have learned to fly the air like birds and swim the sea like fish, but we have not learned the simple art of living together as brothers. This last primary election, September 16th, it, it was painful to see the amount of division that it caused in the city of Hartford. Where the North could not get along with the South, the South couldn't get along with the North, where brothers and sisters could not come in agreement, where neighbors could not come in agreement. And that is not the city we know in the city of Hartford. That is not the neighborhoods we know in this place. It is a sickness. It is a disease for us to see a city so divided. And that is not the city we want here. We want a city that's united. That whether you live on Capen Street or you live on Benton Street, 
that we can come together and say we're one Hartford. And so if folks are wondering, so okay, so what is this about? This is about saying that I will no longer stand with the division that the city has. We should not be making votes just based on party lines. That we should be able to come together and say whether you're a Democrat or Republican or working families or independent candidate, that we say like Martin Luther King said, that we look at the character of our, of our people and not based on their color or where they live in the city of Arkansas. So if you're wondering, is Joel Cruz dropping out? No. I'm here to tell you that he's not dropping out with a big exclamation. <laughs> not only is this uh, primary, what it did is fill me up right. to let me know that when you divide and conquer, that is not Hartford. Right. Hartford is a city that's united. And if it takes for me to stand against whoever it is to remind them, that you don't come to Hartford to divide, I will be that person and say loud and clear. People want to be free about talking about communities and saying they're going to help our communities, but they forget that the last words of community spell unity. And if you can't add unity to community, then you can't spell community. But I am here with everyone else because I recognize that I may not have all the money that others have. I also may not be as savvy as others may be. I don't come from places where they have the money. But I come from 221 Capon Street where this neighborhood show me what it is to be a neighbor in the city of Hartford. And so today, I stand before you to let you know that, yes, I don't have all the answers, but who does? The answers lie between you and I, all of us together. Look around you. That's where the answers are at. That whether I'm here on Capon Street or Barber Street, or whether I'm on Pawtucket Street or Shelters, that I'm able to go to my neighborhoods, to go to every neighborhood in the city of Hartford and say, how can we help you? And not think that we have all the answers. Because we don't. That's where we make our mistakes. We got to recognize that yes, the North End has been neglected. And many neighborhoods in the South End have been neglected. I will go as far as saying Hartford has been neglected. And it's up to us as leaders, it's up to us, it's up to us as community leaders and people from the neighborhoods to come together, recognize that we cannot allow people to divide us just so they can get a seat. We, we will remind folks that this is not about division, but about unity in our communities. And I will end with this. Others have mentioned, well, Joel, maybe this is not your time. So I will share a paraphrase, a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King. Time is not bias. Time does not choose when it's time for justice. And I will say this to you, Hartford deserves justice. Thank you. Yeah, right.